This episode is brought to you by BCM1. Hey everybody, Josh Lopresto back for another series of parking lot prep. Today we're going to cover a good one called roadblocks and overcoming objections. Now there's two things that you need to worry about in these meetings. From what we've seen, you've got issues where you've got an unresponsive customer in the meeting, but you've also got an issue where maybe the customer is just going on and on. And that's great, they're pouring everything out, but let's, let's talk about those two things and how you might handle it. So number one, the unresponsive executive, let's call it. So if you've watched the last series, we've done our research, we've built and built and built, and we understand a little bit about this customer and about who we might be meeting with in this conversation. So for that executive, for example, if you're maybe talking to IT and you notice that this executive over here who's a C-level, maybe a CFO, and is, has no interest in all what you're talking about, maybe take what you've learned from IT and say, hey, you know what, Mike, uh, talking to Susie over here in IT, uh, interesting ideas of how that might hit the budget and how that might handle you know what you've got forecasted operationally is that going to be an issue at all you know we've, we've aligned this technology here does that work within the budget that you have now you've got to redirect that and ask questions to get that person back engaged now let's talk about the second one here the second one is uh, hey we, we've asked these questions and now we've got somebody that's just pouring it out pouring it out pouring it out and you're looking at time and we're running out of time for this meeting here so what do you do so that person's passionate. You need to be equally passionate and just ask, hey, hey, hey question here. Um, I, I love what we're talking about and you brought up some really great points, but um, let's talk about maybe how that might work over here. So if I say, hey, uh, you know, that's a really good point, Susie, that, that, that's great. Um, Bob, over here, how does that work with, uh, you know, with from the operations side? What does that mean? What is the impact to you? What is the impact of the bottom line of the business? Can you help us understand that? We've redirected that excitement and that passion from over here and we've put it into a different place. So don't be afraid. Don't let that conversation go on too long. Don't be afraid to, to stop, redirect, and resend that energy somewhere else. So hopefully these are a couple things that, that will help you in your process and you feel a little more prepared. <music>